The 2018 Ole Miss baseball season provided one of the most historic years at Swayze Field. Here's the pitch. Swing on! See you, baby! Three-run home run over the right field wall. Three rows in. Ready, kicks, delivers the pitch. Strike three called! Outer edge! The Rebels get the victory 10-8, and Ole Miss has won the SEC West. Just enjoy it. Soak it up. Create a memory. The one-two. Swing and a miss. Oh, Jordan strikes out. Three strikeouts by Greer Holston, and Ole Miss wins the 2018 SEC Baseball Tournament. Each year comes a chance to pave a new path. As this new team takes their beginning steps to realizing their bright future, they must first take on the Big Easy. We're signing posters for the fans. Yeah. Oh, that, that was so unenergetic. Come back to me later and I'll figure it out. We're out here uh, signing some posters for some fans. Gonna cheer on some Rebs basketball. Playing Iowa State today. Top 20 matchup. Gonna be fun. Good We're fun. having an awesome time with awesome kids like this. And, uh, you know, we're just, just making the fans happy. They're making us happy. We're just having a great day. Our signature. Uh, I gotta go with Will Etheridge. That guy's. He's had some up and downs with the signature, but this year it's just really taking a downfall. Hunter Neighbors just writes Hunter 19, which is so unoriginal. Uh, I, I feel attacked looking at it. Gunner actually has a really cool autograph, but if you didn't know that you were reading Gunner Hoglund's autograph, you'd have absolutely no clue what it is. It's like a, it's just a giant G and then a number, and that's all you know who it is. You know, I'm a big fan of Cole Zabowski, to be honest. I'm going to take a picture and whatnot with him. You know, I'm a big fan of the big first baseman. Going up on Instagram, y'all? Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know, every now and then I get a DM from him. Yeah, I feel pretty special. So, I mean, when that happens, you know it's going to be a good day. It's getting there, man. It's warmed up. It's, uh, it's loose. It's nice. But uh, Knox is doing pretty good with his as well. He's coming around, yeah. That's what he's been saying. I'm getting hot. Tell Max Trophy that uh, it's really bad. Yeah, it's not as bad as what people say. Hey, it's just a little go. Hey, we're trying to hey, get through this. It. You know what I'm saying? Let's see it. Give the fans what they want. How are you doing? It's, not good. it's like uh, in like second grade when you're learning how to write cursive. Okay, no, it is not that. that. No, it is not that. The last like five posters have absolutely been my worst signatures I've ever written. Average. How's your signature? Questionable. Very questionable. questionable. I don't have the good in general. Yeah, I assume. Not once will this ever get old. We love it. Bring on uh, all the posts. Mike's energy is just so all contagious. I mean, couldn't have a better person sitting next to me. I figured out I can't sign without reason. my tongue coming out. Like, yeah, he really can't. It's, it's, actually, it's an actual insane. defect. I got a video of him. He's like smiling, talking to someone. And the minute he starts signing, he <laughs> starts sticking his tongue out. <laughs> I mean, this is like... I just learned how to write an H in cursive. We don't, we're not sure. And the dot after the end, like we all get it. We know you're number 19, it's Hunter Neighbors. We don't need the dot. Signatures are getting worse and worse. He's also extremely slow. We have posters on posters. Perfect, so gotta make it perfect. Uh, just signed some autographs. We're about to go out there, throw out some t-shirts uh, to the fans. A lot of t-shirts are getting thrown out. We're gonna try to get the farthest shirt thrown, see how the arm holds up. Going out here in the crowd cheering and everything for us like that was awesome. First road trip. First road trip of the year. We are fired up. Taking it all in. I'm going to be sitting next to this guy right here. Hey, brother. Connor Green. Great company. This is probably the most stressful part about this trip is packing. If you get one it's thing, so, it's so much anxiety, it's unreal. So 
we got a checklist there and mark everything off. So, I mean, it's gonna be fun. We're excited for it. Uh, the checklist definitely helps, but uh, I don't know. Every time I go on a road trip or something, I always feel like I'm gonna forget something. You know, just catchers have a little bit more they gotta do because they gotta pack all this stuff. But for the most part, I can smack this out in 20 minutes without tweaking. I used to tweak about, you know, if I had everything or if I was missing something, but now I just say to heck with it. I remember my first road trip, we get on the bus 6.30 a.m. and everybody, everybody knew how nervous I would be to do Rebel Idol because I just can't do that stuff. So I, everybody starts chanting my name at 6.30 a.m. I deleted off the Rebel Idol, saying lip gloss by Lil Mama. It was more just, I think I was just speaking it. I was so nervous that like Coach B said, I went up there and Coach B said, if you think pitching in front of 10,000 people is hard, Rebel Idol is tough. Well, Kevin Graham's got a pretty good song. Follow Me by Uncle Cracker is a, uh, is a fan favorite here for the Rebels. The nerves are, the nerves are flying high right now. Um, you know, I feel confident in my abilities to sing and sing well. So uh, I think I'll do fine once I step on stage. So we'll see. I'm going to go with Caleb Hill. Dude, uh, guy's got a lot of character, a lot of personality, and uh, I think he's going to put on a show for us. I think the favorite is probably Zach Phillips. But um, I think Justin Bench might come out of nowhere with the victory in Rebel Idol. You don't know how you met me. You don't know why you can turn around and say goodbye. I just think they're a little timid. Like, they don't have any energy. If they bring energy, it doesn't matter what the song is, everybody's going to get into it and we're all going to have a really fun time. So that's what we're looking for right now. We're no strangers to love. You have the rules and so do I. Cause we all just don't want to be big rock stars living in a top house and driving 15 cars. It's hard to say it, it's hard to say it. Goodbye, goodbye. Kills it every time. You know what you're gonna get with Max Trophy and Houston Roth, and that is 100% effort. That's it. Although the Rebels are long shots to take their musical talents out to Bourbon Street, instead the Rebels stick to baseball. No, they didn't. It's like there's pine tar all over me. It's dirty. That helmet is wicked. Ball's gonna roll. Good trophy! Look at that! I got it, I got it, I got it! Got room, got room. Easy, yes, sir. Got room. Dang. Good day for you, Coach Lap. Easy! Room! Oh, get out of here! Uh-oh. Get out, ball! Oh. Warning track power. Let's hit nukes. Holy. Feel this. Unbelievable. You're allowed to. What's up, Coop? Hey, what's up? You don't like it? When it's when it's cold out, when it's that weather, this stuff stays sticky. The stuff on the bat runs stick. Dude, Raymond is posted up up there. Look at him. He's just taking it in. Wow. The ball's yeah, like 20 feet. Watching him hit home runs like this is like laying on the hood of his car looking at stars. Yeah, it really is. It's, it's like, like, look, that's like, wow. That ball's 40 feet over the fence. Oh. Man hits a home run last night and he comes in the dugout. He goes, Yeah, I just hit that off the cap. Yeah, Thomas hit it. Stop, Thomas. I, I hit it off the cap, but I still can't do it. That is a Thomas comment. I, I didn't square it up. If I squared it up, it's going to hit the car. <laughs> that's exactly what he told me. A lot of home runs. Dude, you got to catch that. 
Call Dude, the ball freaking the, the ball cruises out of this Little yard. Grabs. Oh, it's a good day right there. Uh, nice job tonight. Hey, um, you know, sorry I wasn't there uh, today. You know, when we took off. But you know, one of the things you know uh, I wish I would have been there to do is to introduce you to our bus driver, uh, Mr. Raymond Carter. Uh, he give him a try. Six years and just about almost every trip. He hadn't fired me either. <laughs> <laughs> but just about every single trip, you know, Raymond's been with us. And uh, so he's like part of the team. And so, as you know, part of the team, you know, when you win stuff, right, like a championship, like last year we won the Southeastern Conference you know, Tournament Championship. Uh, I, I remember, you know, driving home and getting uh, text messages, you know, screenshots you know, of the dog pile. Now that, that was Raymond, because he's part of the team. You know, he's jumping on the dog pile. So the thing that we always thought is, if you're gonna be in the dog pile, and you gotta make sure that you get one of these. Yeah. You know, Raymond deserves a ring just as much as anybody else. Um, you know, everything he does for us, you know, the energy he brings, the passion, you know, just the way he cares about all of us. And, you know, I believe Raymond would do anything for us, and I think any of us would do anything for Raymond. You know, we just, it's a special connection we have with him. He cares about the kids like they're his. And uh, you can tell after a loss he's hurting, and you can tell after a win he's super excited. And, and uh, I know the, the players are excited that we were able to you know, make that happen. Thank you. Thank y'all, guys. Love y'all. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> can I stress out tomorrow? Yeah, you can. Play with you. All right. The Ole Miss Rebels have come south for a three-game series in New Orleans against Tulane. The Rebels have been producing some big offensive numbers so far on the young season, and so have the Green Wave as they're off to a 5-0 start. As Mardi Gras gets underway here in the Big Easy, the Rebels are looking to have plenty of reason to celebrate this weekend as well. It's hard to be extraordinary. It's hard to be a huge success if you do what everybody else does. That's why we're different. Right? That's why the expectations in this program are different. We're here tonight to test ourselves. Let's be different tonight. Let's be reps. Go get them. Have a little fun today, baby. Why not? Why not? Great day to have a great day. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun today. A lot of fun today. We good to go? Let's play! Every musician knows it's important to get your fans on their feet early. So video out at second gets his lead, and this one's a jam shot in the right field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Yes, that's down. Servideo's around third. He'll come in to score. On his way to third is Keenan. It's an RBI single for Ryan Olenek. Senior designated hitter Chase Cockrell. 0-2 pitch is hit hard into left field. That's going to get down for a base hit. Cockrell around first, making the big turn. He will try for two. Here comes the throw, and he is in with the double. He is running, and the throw down. He's going to get in a run down now as the pitch was called a strike. Here comes the runner to the plate. He's going to score. Cockrell scores as Johnson is retired in the rundown. Although the Rebels raced out to a raucous start, the Wave wanted to prove that they were the hottest act in the Crescent City. The 1-0 to Hosey. Ground ball deep short. That'll sneak into left field for a base hit. And Tulane has cut the lead in half, 2-1. 0-2 pitch from Phillips is hit on the ground to third. That's a fair ball inside the line and into the corner. Around second is Hosey on his way to third. They're going to hold him there as it'll be a double for Jensen. Phillips looks in for the sign from Johnson. He's got it. This one is popped up in the air. Shallow center field. Olenek coming in. He makes the catch. Tagging from third and coming to the plate. And the throw will not be in time as Hosey scores and Jensen moves to third on the throw. 
This one is a little blooper. That's going to get over Adams, and it's going to drop into center field for an RBI single. Wasn't hit hard, but he put it in the right spot. With the lead at their back, Tulane's front man was able to stifle all the notes Ole Miss swung his way. 1-1 one, one pitch to Kessinger, hit in the air, left field. It's deep, going back onto the track and up against the wall, making the catch is Ty Johnson. Why is it not carrying that way? Look at the wind, bro. Like, I thought I hit that thing. You did. You hit it like that? Is that on a curveball? Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I'm not fly out to left right now. I don't. I don't. It's weird, bro. Like, am I the only one that thought I got that, or? No, I didn't move at first. His first pitch swing hits this one deep center field. Going back, back, it's gone! A two-run home run for Cole Zabowski as he takes it out just to the left of the 400 sign in straightaway center. Cole Zabowski got that ball up, wind still blowing out. Not sure how much the wind had to help that one. That was a rocket just to the opposite field. Good A.B. Zach let's do it. Caleb from the line with that right foot on the rubber. There's the left leg kick. Now the quick pitch driven to deep left. Wow. At the wall, it's gone. Let's go! Let's go, coach. Let's do it. Let's do it. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. So Roper tried the quick pitch, and Kessinger, who just missed a homer last time up, did not miss that one. Kessinger's first home run of the year. We knew he had that in his arsenal, and he would try to do that, and uh, just have to be ready for it. And you know, when he tried to do it, uh, you know, just recognize it and just get ready to hit like he would another pitch. And yeah, he left it over the middle, left it up, and you know, I was on time for it. And knew he had that, and uh, you know, was able to get it up in the air. Mike Bianco can trust Parker Gracie, that's for sure. As he goes to his junior right-handers, Parker's first outing of the year. I mean, folks, he is just one of the best there is. He is a flamethrower. Five and two record, 10 saves, 225 earned run average and 48 innings pitched and making his 2019 debut. You know, a lot of people will probably point toward his stuff, but the, the biggest thing is the mentality. Uh, I think you got to have a special mentality to pitch there at the end of the game. Um, you've got to want the ball in the ninth inning when, you know, baseball circles has always said those are the toughest three outs to get the last three of the game. So it takes a special mentality to do that, and, and Parker certainly has it. Caracy with another 0-2 delivery. Swing and a miss, strike three. Second strikeout of the inning for Caracy. Hey, Zebo, he doesn't matter. It's that one. Nothing through the infield. Nothing down the line, nothing through the infield. TK, TK, Tyler, he doesn't matter. He doesn't matter, it's him. So talk, let him know where to throw it. One-two delivery from Caracy, here it is. Ground ball, fair ball, Zabowski has it. He'll take it himself and the Rebels get the win in game one here in New Orleans. They hand the Green Wave, their first loss of the season. You know, when you haven't pitched in a week and a half, right, and you're the number one closer in the country, right, and you got to win. So, uh, nice job. Hey, listen to me. You know, pitchers, take, take, take note of that, right? Rather than thinking that you're one pitch from losing, right, rather than thinking that I'm one pitch from, it, you know, getting messed up, I always think he's one pitch from striking them all out. He's one pitch from rolling out. And I think you believe that too, right? Because you've seen him do it too many times. That's why we're here. We're here for this kind of game. We're here to see how tough we are. Will we handle it on the mound? Will we make the plays? And will we get the timely hit? Tonight we did. Nice job. Great win. Um, a lot of fun. Gutsy win. You know, took all, took all, uh, everybody a part of the team. And, uh, you know, that's what makes it fun. That's why you play college baseball. And uh, great job by us. I like Friday nights. A lot of energy. I love it. It was today was a great day that we got got it done in the toughest of conditions. The offense showed up, did did their job. You know, timely hitting, 
moving runners around, getting them in. You know, Zebo with that home run, bringing my momentum back, and then Thomas with that great RBI. I mean, it just doesn't get better than that. It's great baseball. Shout out to the pitchers, defense, everything was there. It was a good win. That was awesome. Uh, Phillips gave us a great, uh, great start to the, uh, the game. And then timely hits, you know, big home runs by my roommates, Cole Zabowski and Greg Kessinger, and Doug Shove, and Parker Crazy does what Parker Crazy does and strikes out everybody. Here y'all go. See y'all, boys. Thomas Dillard has proven he's one of the hottest hitters in the SEC. Saturday, he displayed why he's one of the best in the country. Come on, Thomas, stay hot. Two outs, and he first pitch swinging, hits one into deep center field. Owen oh, going back, it's over his head, off the wall. Zabowski on his way to third. He'll be waved home. Dillard will pull up at second. Here comes the throw to the plate. It's done in time, it's cut off. Let's go, man. It's an RBI double here in the first for Dillard. 1-0 pitch by Gillis is hit in the air to right. Get legs, Will. Get legs, Will. Let's go, baby. They probably should have walked him because Thomas Dillard makes some pay. It's a three-run home run for Dillard. And the reality is Thomas completely fooled and one-handed that ball. Now two for two on the day with a double, a home run, nice job, and four runs batted in. Honestly, I'm expecting a home run every at bat out of him. It's it's amazing. I mean, he can do it from both sides of the plate, and he's got just such raw power from both sides. I mean, it's incredible. Pellerin's pitch swung on, and it is going to go way out of here. Thomas Dillard, his second home run of the day, and the Rebels have the lead. It's an eight RBI day for Thomas Dillard. 12-11 Rebels. It's just fun to see him go up there with as much confidence as he has. You know, it's just oozing out of him right now. He's feeling good. Everyone goes through it, and it's fun to watch that guy when he's in that spot. I've been playing with Thomas for a while, and obviously that was an incredible game. Not to take anything from that, but, you know, I've seen him in high school hit three home runs in a game. And while that was, like, an awesome, awesome thing for Thomas, I wouldn't have doubted him if somebody would have told me he was going to have eight RBIs today. Now, I've had a few two home run games in my life, but uh, I don't know if I've ever had any with eight RBIs. So uh, to do that on a big stage and such a big game like that was pretty cool. And we came up just a little bit short, but you know, overall I think it was a really cool day to be a part of. But what happens when you don't have success, right? When you hit two home runs and hit eight RBIs and don't have success, then all of a sudden, you start not worrying about the little things because you think you need bigger, bigger things, right? You need, you need more home runs. You know, today, you know, the, the goal is to be present, much like yesterday. But today, probably a little more difficult to be present because of the way we lost. And so you got to test yourself. And so today, during batting practice, challenge one another, hold each other accountable, bounce around, smile. Yes, yesterday sucked, all right? It did. That's why today will feel so good, you know, walking out of the game, all right? Only if you go after, only if you bring energy today. Let's be present today, let's go get them. Let's do it, boys. The arrival of the sun marked the start of a new day. Although the host fireman was holding on to his magic from the day before. Well, David Bedgood will never forget yesterday, February 23rd, 2019, a two run walk off homer and here's the delivery by Hoagland, and this one is hit hard in the air towards right. Going back is Servideo, looking up, and that ball is gone. And he hits one hard in the left field. Diller going back, and he'll watch it sail over his head. Off the wall, he turns and fires. Runner gonna try and score here from first. Here comes the throw in plenty of time, and they will cut down Johnson at the plate, but another run does come across. You gotta put a goose egg up in the next half to keep momentum. Well. Yeah, and that's a good team in the other dugout, but you get my drift. 2-2. Two -two. Grounded right side, base hit. They did it again. Line drive here by Olenek. That's down into center field for a base hit. 
There go the runners, and the pitch is lined into left field. That's going to be a base hit. Kessinger around third. He'll come in to score. Olenek will slide headfirst into third. Another two-out RBI for the Rebels as Tyler Keenan drives in Gray Kessinger. With this offense that's made us so great with two outs is, is when there is two outs, you know, the vibe and the feeling of the dugout, it doesn't really feel like anything's changed. Dillard with nine RBIs in the first two games of the series. Hits this one hard. And this time, Gazzo has it go off his glove as he tried to backhand it. And he can't find it. Everybody's going to be safe. And Olenek scores the second run for Ole Miss. I think one of the things is, you know, we are good offensively. And the guys uh, play the game with a lot of confidence. And they realize that, you know, it's all about the timely hit. And we talk about it all the time. You know, it's not how many hits you get, but when you get them. With the Rebels back in the game, the hosts look to deliver another heavy-handed punch. A one pitch to Owen is hit in the air, right center field. Olenek coming in, so is Servideo. It'll drop in front of them for a base hit. Slow walk by Bianco as he looks down to the bullpen, and he will make a pitching change here. All right, listen, uh, first and third, one out. Ground ball back to you. If you turn two, go there. If it's kind of pulls you off, you don't think you can get two, just go home. Let's get that out. Let's go. Get a ground ball, get first off the field. Anybody who tells you they're not nervous coming in is lying to you. There are nerves going, but it's it's a confidence. You try and draw from those nerves, and you're trying to get adrenaline going. And for me, I personally like to think of it as I'm here to get my teammate out of the situation. If you ask any single person on this team who would you want to have the most success, you know, I would think you would get Connor Green for most of your answers. First and third, one out. Ah! This one in the air, it, shallow Greg. left, Greg, over Greg, towards Greg, the line. Greg, it's going to be Kessinger going out, and he will make the play just in fair territory. So a big out right there as Connor Green gets Johnson on the pop-up. You control what you can control. So you come in, you try and make pitches, you try and throw strikes. You can't control if they get a hit. You can't control if the umpire calls a strike. But you can control if you make a pitch. And I'm just trying to win pitches. And Green's pitch hit on the ground is short. Kessinger charges. He will throw on the run. Nice stretch by Zabowski, and Hosey is retired. So that's how you do it. That's efficiency right there Two by pitches. Connor Green. You know, he's one of those guys that puts in the work and doesn't say a lot about it. He just goes about his business, and he's such a guy. He's such a good guy that everybody looks up to. And for him to come out there and get us out of a jam, that was just massive. Come on, Siege. Come on, Kip. Here's the green delivery. Swing and a miss. Strike three. It shows what you know hard work can do. Um, you know, belief and and just you know waiting your turn. Connors, you know, deserves this success, and I think everybody's happy for. Him. As an unlikely star emerged on the hill, another stepped up to the dish. Servideo has struck out his first two times up today, both times looking. Sunday was a new day for me, and I just needed to go up there with a lot of confidence for myself to be able to help my team offensively. And um, basically, I just swing the bat, honestly, because and I was taking way too many pitches Friday, Saturday, and even the uh, first two at-bats on Sunday. But... Um, Swinging the bat at uh, good pitches, it really, really helped us out. One and two pitch here. Hit on the ground. That's through for a base hit in the right field. Johnson charges. Here comes Hall to the plate. The throw is going to be cut off, and Hall scores to tie it up here. 3-3 three, three in the seventh. Let's go! Servideo had a big RBI single his last time up. And then he came around to score. He tied it with his hit, and then he scored the go-ahead run. Campbell comes home with a 2-2 pitch. That's a ground ball through the right side for a base hit. Here comes the runner to the plate. The throw is on its way. It's offline. The Rebels lead by two. Now Servideo on its way to second. Now a third down to third. That throw gets away. That's going to get another run in. Servideo's coming around third. He's going to try and score as well. Here comes the throw. It is in time to cut him down. And it's Doug Nikhazy, the freshman left-hander, 5'10", 200-pounder from Windermere, Florida, that takes over here in the ninth. Yeah, he's been good every time out this season. Those strikes, competes. And he's certainly been a very pleasant surprise out of this Ole Miss bullpen. Is Doug our closer? I'm here for that. That kid's gross. He's a stud. I mean, just off the field, on the field, there's just a persona about him and the way he carries himself that it's just a confidence. You can tell when he's out there, he's confident. He has no doubt that he's going to get the job done. That ball just explodes out of his hand. I mean, he is a power arm in a little body. Yeah. Sometimes that is a great combination because hitters go up there, no matter what the scouting report says, the ball just explodes on him. 1-1. And... 
Rolled it to third. Easy play for Keenan. Throw across, two outs. And look, give credit to Ole Miss because their pitchers have totally shut us down. What's up? My dog! I've never saved a game before. That was my first time ever getting a save in my entire life. It's totally different experience. I mean, the thought process is always the same. It's just to go out and get outs, but it was so much more adrenaline pumping through, and then just like all the fans are all loud and ready for it to happen. Here's the 2-2 pitch. Strike three called. He paints the corner with the third strike. Boy, Douglas. Yes, sir. Doug is filthy. Is that Doug closer to Casey? Uh, 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 uh. That was awesome. I didn't think I was going to be put in that spot, but I'm excited. That got me fired up. I'm excited. I'm happy I could finish out the weekend for us. I, that was just that was awesome, dude. Free, scary being a freshman, but I love it, man. It's awesome. Hi, right, congratulations, and uh, you know. You know, it's big. It's big uh, to win an environment. This is why we're here. And we played well today. And, and like we talked about in the pregame, we did the little things today. So Hoagland hung in there. All right, we talk about that. Just hanging in there, making pitches, and got us to at least the fifth. And then Miller comes in. And then we're in a jam there. And uh, we, we need to get off the field. And we go to the bullpen, bring in Connor Green, where, you know, with, with one out, first and third, I believe. Two pitches, it gets us back in the dugout. Where's Mr. Green? Yeah. I took the thinking out of it, honestly, and just trusted in my instincts and just had fun with it. And I was happy I could uh, do something for this team offensively. So, big, big win on the road for us today here in uh, Tulane. It's going to be a fun bus ride home, to say the least. Great job. Thank you, Dad. Great job. Good job. Oh, I'm good. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's awesome. You know, when you're in the dugout, you're in there, you're, a, uh, you're an energy giver, and then you wait for your opportunity to be called and you go out there and do your job. It was awesome. Awesome weekend, awesome win. Ready to get back to Oxford and get one next weekend. This run does not get any shorter. I'm really worried about Sabo. I mean, look at Sabo. He's harmless. Look at him. Dude, what's up with these yellow planes? I'm good. Light's really bright. That's awesome. Guy Johnson will come off the bat with Cooper Johnson behind the plate. This light's bright. I'm tired. You can't, you can't look at me like crazy. I'm seeing Chase hitting bombs. I'm fixing one in Louisiana. <laughs> On the basketball court, though, he'll blow out your ACL. He will 100% undercut you when you go up for a rebound.